Hey Jimmy, it's a Saturday. It is. A sunny Saturday. It is. But we're commuting into your work. We are. Why are we doing that? It's new kit day. We've got some new kit for you and everyone. Everyone? Everyone. How many hours of work have you done over the last two days, Jimmy? The last three days, it's over 40 hours. You know, it's a lot, but small business owners, I think it's quite normal for indie businesses to have to put the the effort in here and there, you know? These guys are my best mates and they're on a sick cycling clothing brand. You should definitely buy all the kit. Here's a rundown of all the new stuff. Link down below to their website, buy it. Hello. Hi. For new viewers, you're Emily, that's Jimmy. You both run Atticus. What is Atticus? Atticus is a cycling clothing brand. New viewers probably won't realize that we've been mates since... 2000 and... Since before... BC. B... BC. We've been friends for a long time. In the early days of us setting up Atticus. The birth of Atticus. Almost yeah. the birth of Atticus. And the birth of Francis Cade YouTube. Basically, yeah. Since that time, we have both expanded our horizons and here we are. We have just released our Spring Summer 21. So basically what we do is um, release little drops every sort of month or so. And this is our first iteration. Nine jerseys, two base layers, gloves which are over there somewhere and soon bib shorts as well last year you might have heard a thing called covid hit and from a um, manufacturing perspective it just kind of massively had an, had an impact on the whole world obviously but from a manufacturing perspective because people couldn't work it meant that manufacturing happened a lot slower uh, there's also a massive cycling boom so demand was higher and the two of those things meant that there's massive delays and this year it's it's still having a knock-on effect. Uh, so what happened last year, I think, a lot of the fabric mills especially, they were using their back stock to try and meet supply, and now this year they kind of have no back stock. So we've been waiting a long time for just fabric mills to actually have the fabric and the chamois makers to actually have that so that our factory can then put that all together. So yeah, this was actually meant to launch. When was it, Jimmy? The March 5th? I think it was second week of Feb it was meant to be here. That hasn't happened. So we've finally been able to launch our jerseys Bib shorts are in the process of arriving. Now that chamois pads have now arrived, they will be here early April-ish. Um, and yeah, we just kind of have to roll the punches. It's just how it goes. But let me show you what we have. So first thing I'll say is we always release all of the same colors in our men's and our women's collections. We get that question a lot. So you'll see them different on different mannequins, but same for both. We have restocked a couple of designs from last year, which is the OG squad jersey. This has been around since my favorite 2017, maybe, and it just it's very popular. You wear it a lot. That's probably why. Our orange, it is orange. It's yellow. Navy, which we've done before. Slate, which is our kind of updated version of our grey. It's just very slightly darker. Two new colours, red and pink. Each year we release a number of special edition ones, which are kind of adding something different from our core colours. So our first of our special edition drops are the blue fade and a sort of purpley mint fade. These are all foundation jerseys, which are our sort of close fitting jersey. We do also have a relaxed fitting jersey. That's our cruiser jersey. They will be released very soon as well. Also just waiting for stock to land. Uh, we also have an adventure jersey, which is really loose fitting, more geared towards um, gravel riding and that kind of thing. It's literally so tired. We worked till 10 last night because that was our launch. We've basically been doing 12 hour shifts all week just to sort of get everything out. So it's the weekend now it's and the everyone's going to go and buy loads of kit, yes. all these viewers. Yes. And then on Monday you're going to come in like and two pack days it. Away from yeah, it's literally, it's only us. It's, it is only us. It's literally me and Jimmy. So we started the business in 2016, I think, while we both had other jobs. Uh, and then Jimmy went full time first. We do everything. So literally these, these are the mannequins we use to kind of uh, create the product shots that you see on the website. We go out with people like you and get nice photos to show people combos and what kit looks like for people and package up the orders, sweep up by the end of the day. <laughs> I mean, it's good fun. I mean, it beats having an office job. We both did that and hated it, so this is better. Oh, <laughs> oh she's got turkey face. Whoa. It's very comfortable, isn't it? It's really cool. Is that the first time you've ridden a full sus? A 
full sus, oh, yeah. Just to, just to get a feel of the sponginess on the front, I forgot that it was a full sus. And then all of a sudden I was like, why, why am I, why is like the bottom bracket going down? This is weird. Yeah, it's weird. You ride that for a while and then when you turn the suspension off, it feels really weird because your brain gets in tune with it squashing every pedal stroke. Yeah. It's really oh, weird. I guess, yeah, when you're hammering it, I guess you feel a bit of... Yeah, exactly. When you lock the... It's only the front you lock though, isn't it? You don't lock the back. No, both lock at the same time. Fuck off, With the box, yeah, yeah. So if you see there's a cable oh, running yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna be your bike. Is it? My new race one's coming soon. Does so my... we can hit the trails together. Is this a present for me? With you, with the, you're, well. You're revealing it, no, it's a present for me. Only when we're together. Oh, that's quite regular though, so. It is quite regular. Also, you're not switching the brakes around and they're Euro style, so. I think I can handle that. I think, I think that's. It's different enough of a position. The yeah, it's like a thing, it's like a thing. It's just like a thing for it, isn't it? You only need one brake when you're going down trails anyway. Well, you pull, you use your brakes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> oh, oh! I'd like to have an attempt at the world record for no handing. Okay, this again. I need to find a stretch that's long enough. Well, I found one in Australia when we rode it with Chris. Ooh. 90 mile straight road. Probably, get me, yeah. Get me tickets then? If you hope for a headwind, and it'll be there. Oh, are you going for time or are you going for distance? Distance. Okay, so you want a tailwind. Yeah. You want to be as aero as possible, but still no hands. <laughs> like that. As always, it's an absolute pleasure to hang out with Jimmy and Emily. Filming that little video piece on them and reminding myself of where we've come from and everything that we've done together was awesome. They've been such an integral part of what I've been doing for the last few years. Like Emily said in that little video piece, we really did meet just at the start of everything kicking off. Um, I remember when I met Jimmy on a group ride, back before I even had a proper road bike, I was riding like a steel, rusty fixed gear in my break from racing. And you know, when you meet people and it just clicks, that's the perfect way to describe what it's like with these guys. I know there's loads of people who've been watching these videos a while and loads of you who have bought into the Atticus brand and bought some kit. And I wanna take this opportunity to encourage you if you're buying cycling kit this year, choose Atticus because they make some fantastic stuff. They work super hard, they're a tiny business and they're hoping to grow. So if you're in the market and you're choosing between a few brands, if you haven't tried them before, Try them. They put a lot of effort into designing their kit, but also keeping it at a sensible price by only selling direct. I'm gonna end today's video here. Thank you so much for watching as always. I'm gonna get a pizza, get some carbs in, because tomorrow, myself and Jimmy are gonna go on a long ride into the Pennines to do a bit of gravel track that we've been meaning to do for a long time. It looks like it's gonna rain. The ride's gonna be pretty long, so fingers crossed it's not complete carnage. Stay tuned for that. Link to the Atticus website down below if you wanna buy some kit. And I'll see you guys soon.